All right, Al, so here's, we'll just take a few minutes here to do a summary. So that's the first one, starting out tonight, and then this is when it's looking better. So you can, can you see that difference almost there, live speed even, at full speed? And then over here, the new blue. Okay. All right, now we slow it down. We know it's going to look a lot better. See, that's the one, remember, where you start working that's coming through your collar. Right. Where it's starting out tonight is over through the top of your head. Way over there. Yeah, the more the better. Right. Yeah, so the more the better. You know, the best thing really for that is just simply this. And then I tell people, because, you know, the, because of Tiger now the last 15 years, everybody wonder about golf fitness. And I tell them, well, you know, the, I've, I've concluded over the years, because I know a lot about that fitness stuff, but I've concluded the best exercise for golf is a golf swing. When I used to be skinny before Darlene fattened me up, when I was 28 years old, my aunt called me strong one day. And I, I didn't hear the next ten minutes of words she said because I'd always been skinny and still have skinny wrists and never worked out. I said, no one's ever called me strong before. And after five or ten minutes, I said, Hans, if you called me strong ten minutes ago, my famous aunt. And she, I said, what are you talking about? I'm skinny. I ain't strong. She goes, you're golf strong. You know, because I hit it past almost everybody I know. Yeah. You know, and I was a good player, of course, and everything. And I said, well, what do you mean? She says, well, your golf muscles. You know, kind of your fanny and your wrists, your shoulders, your golf muscles are strong. And that's why you can hit for it. I said, ah. So, and all this fitness stuff I've learned over the years, and all the gizmos I have to measure it and everything, uh, just the more you're swinging, you're working your golf muscles. Okay. Now, so, now, I definitely would agree the more flexibility you can get, the better it'll make it for you. But it's not ultimately way up there in terms of priority. So yeah, the more you can do it, the better. But but really, besides the golf swing, just doing this, you know, stretches those um, lats back there. And that's it. You know, so quite often that's more what needs to be stretched than this. Because see, this is actually being stable. So this we actually need more stability here in our pelvis and more flexibility up here in our torso. So anything, just that simple exercise will help a bunch. So yes, there's the better swing, and then with the driver, mm -hmm. it's looking good too, better and better. And again, we only saw, out of all these balls you hit tonight, we only saw, you know, five or six or seven of them start to the right. Everything was starting to the left because you're getting it better and better, closer and closer to that plane line. like that, instead of what we saw starting out. And again, when, like that practice swing especially, you won't see that arm at all. That's the kind of extension that you felt in the past that's so good. See, that's a lot better look than this. Right. And again, use the ball flight to be your instructor. Okay. You know, if that ball's cutting left still and staying left, you got to just turn it over all the earlier. Okay. And like that last drive you just killed, when you really started on the downswing, to closing it, it turned out great. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's the down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment, and then we have the face on camera angle also, and then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment, and we can get your swing from 
down to the 1 20th of a, 1 one of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PutterZ.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is with the front, back, and middle of each screen. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied as things are looking the way we want. And we come back inside, take off our coat. And look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here. And then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter. And then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.